So this is a quick how-to video on changing out the uh, turn signal relay on a VT750 ACE. Uh, should be good for all VT750 models though, including the Spirit. Um, basically right now my setup has no tail lights. I'm going to be replacing those out with some LEDs, but this can give you some a good example of the, the problem and everything like that. Um, if you ever have the hyper flash problem, um, this will fix that issue. And so I'm going to give you an example of what that is. So when I flick on my turn signal, you'll see it flashes really quickly and you can hear it clicking. Uh, that's actually the relay um, doing its job correctly, but because there's not as much load because of the uh, lack of the bulbs in the back, um, so it's, it can do its job easier, therefore it runs faster. Uh, some people like the hyper flash, I personally don't. I'm going to be replacing all of my incandescents with LED bulbs in the future, so I want to replace this with an electronic module. Um, just so you know where the relay is, I've taken off my headlamp already, but it's all the way back there. Uh, it's got a rubber boot on it and it's held in pretty good onto uh, the back of the headlight housing. Um, so just need to pull this out. And then it's a simple connector. Uh, you just push this pin and it comes out. Uh, it's kind of hard to do one-handed, so I'm going to basically be pausing the video to, uh, to take care of that and uh, um, show you the new module that I'm installing. Let me turn off the power before I do that, and uh, I'm gonna unplug it right now. Okay, so I got my relay out. This is the stock relay that it came with. Uh, here's the wire connector, and that's where it plugs into. The unit that I'm gonna be using to replace it with is from uh, Custom LED. Uh, I'm not sure if I can get an easy shot in there with the the light on, but basically it's a custom LED, electronic LED flasher relay, ELFR-1. Uh, it works on a much lower uh, amperage than the standard relay. Because of that, you, uh, once I had this whole, whole thing hooked up, you'll see my turn signals, even though there's only one bulb uh, per side because the rears are removed, you'll see that suddenly it flashes at the normal rate. This will also help when you change out your bulbs to LED bulbs. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically this connector here just fits in. And again, this is another one of those things where it's hard to do one-handed. So actually I might be able to do it. Uh, there we go. Simple as that, uh, not too much more you have to do with it. Uh, the nice thing is, is that since it's electronic instead of mechanical, uh, you don't have to put the boot on to get it all the way back here again. This can just sit back here and it should be fine because it's all electronics at this point. There's no actual relay connection. So now that that's hooked up, we're going to turn the back bike on and we're going to tr try the turn signals. As you can see, it is now flashing at a standard rate and you don't hear it clicking. Since it's electronic and not mechanical, there is no more clicking going on. And that same flashing pattern also shows up on your turn signal indicator. Let's go ahead and cancel those. Switch over to the left turn. Uh, that slight delay that you see there, that might actually be because the bike is cold. I have noticed that with my bike. Uh, when it's a little bit cold outside, it takes a, an extra second for the signals to light up. Although honestly, it's actually been working better with this uh, relay than it has been on its own uh, or with the old mechanical relay. So um, hopefully that might fix all my issues. Um, I'm looking forward to replacing all of my bulbs with LED bulbs. I'm gonna be using v, v LEDs to do that with. And so I will do another video in the future uh, with that kind of setup, but um, hopefully this helps people be able to locate their, uh, their turn signal relay. Again, it's mounted all the way back here and be able to swap it out with a easy to attach electronic relay. Um, Custom LED does have 
a couple different models of these. Uh, this is your basic model that can connect to pretty much any shadow and a lot of other bikes too. It's a standard connection, doesn't require any uh, hacking of the wiring or anything like that. Plug and play. Couldn't be any easier. I'm not that much of an electrician. Uh, I actually have a friend doing some custom wiring on my bike, so uh, I'm not very good at that, but this was super easy. So um, thanks for watching.